Plus, a trial now underway for the man accused of killing nursing student Lakin Riley on the University of Georgia's campus. Lakin fought. She fought for her life. She fought for her dignity. And in that fight, she caused this defendant to leave forensic evidence behind. We take a look at the discovery that led investigators to Jose Ibarra's door and more from the first day of trial and testimony. And that is our top story for you tonight at 6. Jose Ibarra sat in an Athens Clark County courtroom today as prosecutors and the defense gave their opening statements to the judge. And the judge is the only person they will have to convince of Ibarra's guilty or innocence since Ibarra waived his right to a jury trial. And no jury selection means prosecutors were able to launch into their case today. On February 22nd, Jose Abara put on a black hat, a hoodie style jacket, and some black kitchen style disposable gloves. And he went hunting for females on the University of Georgia's campus. Prosecutors say Ibarra came across 22-year-old Lakin Riley as she was out for a run near the campus intramural fields. That's where she say she was killed. Her body dragged into the woods. And 11 Alive's Grace King is joining us live tonight from Athens. Grace, we can just imagine the emotion coming out of that courtroom. You were inside. Can you tell us what it was like? I mean, it was hard to watch. A lot of this evidence is gruesome. The courtroom was filled with her loved ones, many of them crying softly as they looked at what prosecutors described as evidence that proves Jose Ibarra could be guilty. Do you bring that? In court, new evidence showing the judge how dumpster diving and a hoodie led investigators to Jose Ibarra. There's hair on the buttons. Ripped up sleeves. It was a lucky find in the sixth dumpster they searched. A doorbell camera gave them a glimpse at a possible suspect. 15 minutes after Lake and Riley's heart stopped, this is what they see. They saw an individual who did the, they did not know who it was at the time, dump the jacket in the dumpster and go to those bushes there and dump something there. Enhanced photos suggest that person had a black and white Adidas hat, like the one Jose's brother wore the next day. And I will tell you this, on that hat that Diego Ibarra was wearing the next day is Lake and Riley's blood. But the fingerprint on Lakin's phone led detectives to Jose, not his brother. They started looking at his phone records, injuries, and Snapchat selfies. All three forms of those evidence will point to one person, Jose Ibarra, as the killer of Lake and Riley. The defense, however, plans to argue that the evidence could point to anyone. They say Jose isn't the only one who used his phone or that hat. The evidence that Jose Ibarra killed Lake and Riley is circumstantial. And while most of the evidence we heard today was from varying law enforcement officials, we also heard from Lake and Riley's roommates. They said she brought a sense of joy into their life that's been missing ever since. The trial is set to resume at 8.30 Monday morning. Live in Athens, Grace King, 11 Alive News. Great job breaking that down for us, Grace. Thank you so much. Our live coverage of this trial will pick up again on Monday. Until then, you can replay the biggest moments on 11 Alive Plus. It's free to download on your streaming device. All you have to do is search 11 Alive.